In this tutorial, I'll show you how to make this sports car. To make the car, I use these drawings and I'll put a link to where I got them from in the description of the video. The tutorial is divided into three parts. In this first part, I'll show you how to make the body of the car. Change the view from perspective to orthogonal. Change the view to the right view. Click the plus to open up the properties panel. Scroll down and tick background images. Click the black triangle to open up the panel. Click add image. Scroll down and click open. Go to the folder where you have your car drawing. Select it and open. Drag to close the properties panel and zoom in with the mouse wheel. At the moment we have a mesh object called cube. I'm going to rename it car. Go into edit mode. Press X on the keyboard and delete all the vertices. Zoom in with the mouse wheel. To add a vertex, hold down the control key and click the left mouse button. I'm going to turn the 3D manipulator widget off. To add the next vertex, press E on the keyboard to extrude. Press E again and trace around the car. E again. Now I'm going to do the roof separately, so I'm only tracing around the body of the car. To pan, hold down shift and drag with the middle mouse button. If you forget to hold down shift and you rotate the view, just set the view back to the right view. To add more points, press E to extrude. Now I'm going to use the subdivision surface modifier. When you use the modifier, you must get the topology right. That means quad faces and where necessary, face loops. To make quad four-sided faces, I'm generally going to put the bottom vertices directly below the top vertices. To select two vertices, hold down shift and select. To make an edge, mesh, edges, make edge stroke face, notice the shortcut key is F. Select, shift select, F. Select, press G to grab to move the vertex directly below the top vertex. For now, I'm going to ignore the wheel and carry on placing the vertices directly below the top vertices. To make edge, shift select F, select, shift select F, select, shift select F, select, shift select F, select, shift select F, and press G to grab to tidy up where necessary. Carry on extruding, placing the new vertices directly below the top vertices. I'm going to jump ahead to where I finish the middle section. Hold down shift and drag with the middle mouse button to pan. Zoom in with the mouse wheel to work on the back of the car. Press A to deselect. Hold down control and left click to put a vertex at the back of the car. Press E to extrude and I'm going to span the wheel arch with three extrudes. One more extrude. Hold down shift and select and press F to make edge. I'm going to span the back of the car with three extrudes. I'm going to have the same number of vertices on the top of the car as there are on the bottom of the car. Shift, select, F to make edge. Select, shift select, F to make edge. Repeat that for the other pairs. I'm going to jump ahead again. Zoom back with the mouse wheel. Pan, shift and middle mouse button. Press A twice to select all and F to make face. And change shading to wireframe. Scroll down and select the knife tool. Hover over the back vertex and click. Hover over the front vertex and click spacebar to confirm. 
select the knife tool, hover over the vertex below and click. Hold down the control key, hover over the vertex at the front one below and click and press the spacebar to confirm. To work on the wheel arches, zoom in with the mouse wheel and pan shift middle mouse button. Select the vertex, hold down shift, select the second vertex, press X to delete and delete the vertices. Select the vertex, G to grab, Z for the Z direction and move that one up. Select, shift select, G to grab, Y for the Y direction and move those two back. Select, shift select, G to grab, Y and move those two forward. Select, G to grab, Z and move that one up slightly. Select and G to grab to fine tune the position of the vertices. I'm not trying to make an accurate model of the AMX3. My wheel arch will be smaller. To make the arch subdivide nicely, I'm going to create a face loop. To quickly select the vertices in the arch, hold down the Alt key and click an edge. Press E to extrude immediately followed by Enter. Press S to scale and shrink that in. Select G to grab and fine tune the position of the vertices. Pan, hold down shift and drag with the middle mouse button and repeat the process for the rear wheel. Shift select, press X to delete and delete the vertices. Select G to grab and place the vertex. Select, shift select, G to grab, Y for the Y direction and move those back. Select G to grab. Select G to grab. Select Shift select G Y. Select G. Select G. Hold down the Alt key and click on an edge to select all the vertices. Press E to extrude followed by Enter. Press S to scale and shrink that in. Select G to grab to fine tune the position of the vertices. Zoom back with the mouse wheel. Press A on the keyboard twice to select all. Change the view to the top view. Press R to rotate 90 and enter. Turn the 3D manipulator widget on and use the tip of the green arrow to move the selection to the bottom edge of the car, press E to extrude and extrude the width of the car. Change the view to the right view and go into edge select mode. Select a central edge, press B for B select and select all the central edges. Click subdivide once, twice, drag with the middle mouse button to rotate the view and change the shading to solid. Go into object mode and if I change the shading to smooth we have a bit of a problem. To fix it go into edit mode, press A twice to select all, mesh, normals, recalculate outside. At the moment we have a very low polygon count model of a sports car body with flat sides and not very rounded wheel arches. I'm going to apply the subdivision surface modifier, click the modifiers button, click add modifier subdivision surface, go into object mode and apply the modifier and back into edit mode and we have still a reasonably low polygon count model but it's much smoother and rounded. Next I'm going to fill in the middle of the wheel arches, I'm going to go into vertex select mode and I'm going to do a mixture of zooming in with the mouse wheel, rotating the view, dragging with the middle mouse button and panning shift and middle mouse button. Select a vertex, turn the 3D manipulator widget off. For a flat bottom I need to go one vertex beyond that one. That one. Hold down shift and select the middle five vertices. Rotate the view, pan, Select the, remember to hold down shift and select the middle five vertices. Mesh, edges, 
bridge two edge loops, hold down the Alt key and select a ring of vertices, press F to make face, rotate the view, pan, Alt, ring of vertices, F to make face, pan and repeat the process for the other wheel arch. The process is exactly the same so I'm going to jump ahead. Now the orange dot is the origin for the mesh and we want it inside the car. Go into object mode, object transform origin to geometry. To center the car object snap selection to cursor. Now if I change the view to the front view we see the side of the car, so I'm going to rotate it, R to rotate, Z for the Z axis, 90 and enter, and it's pointing in the positive Y direction, but we have rotation, I'm going to apply that, object, apply, rotation. That's the end of part one of the tutorial. To see how to make the top of the car, go to part two.